So I got everything wiped down with acetone. Um, got the gasket on there. Don't forget to put a new donut for your exhaust on there. And now we're gonna set the head on, put the bolts in and torque it all down. So we got the head on and we got all the head bolts in and they're all torqued to 22 foot pounds at this point. Not the little ones, but just the 10 big uh, head bolts. 22 foot pounds. Now what we're gonna do is go 155 degrees. I believe that was the, the number. Yes, 155 degrees. So we've got our degree indicator here set up. So basically the way this works is we just got our little metal rod. Okay, this is attached to the degree marks. So we're gonna put this on and we're gonna set this metal rod so that it stops against something. So it'll stop up against here. At that point, what we will do is then we will take the plastic cover here that has that little black needle and we can turn it so that it sets it at zero. So we'll turn that all the way around so it's right on zero. Okay, but this is still up against there. Okay, and that prevents the degree from turning uh, as we're torquing it. But what will happen though, is this upper part will turn. So the upper part, which has this little black line on it, that will turn around as we're torquing. It'll show us what degree we're at. So it's, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Well, I could probably do this on camera, but not really, it's not, I don't think it's really necessary. I'm just gonna put the wrench on there and turn it. And as I turn it, that black indicator will just spin around. And that's pretty much it. You just take it to 155 degrees and you're done. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all those. Uh, and then we'll figure out what those four little ones are on the end. I don't even know what the torque spec is on those yet. So I'm gonna come back to that. So I got the head on. And now I'm putting in the chains and these uh, cam phasers here. Now there's a video uh, actually by this company, Melling, and they have a whole video for the 2.4 liter and 2.2 and 2.0 Ecotex that show you the step-by-step -step, um, how to install the timing chain components and all this stuff. So I'm not gonna go through all that. I could do a whole separate video on this. Uh, so to keep this one short, I'm not going to go through all the steps. Watch their video. It shows you exactly how to do it. A little tip, though, here. Um, to keep the cams in position where you want them, I'm using these wrenches. But then I'm putting a screwdriver to space it out because they're kind of spring-loaded. They kind of want to go where they want to go. So to keep them in, in place, I'm using these screwdrivers here. So just to give you a little little tip on what you can do. Other, otherwise, you could buy a plate that goes in here. And a plate um, basically keeps them in the correct position. Uh, I'm not going to mess with buying a plate, so this is what I'm doing. And the other thing I did, uh, whenever I built, whenever I put the cams in the head and I torqued them all down, I put the cams in in a position that was in the uh, basically a the position of least resistance, and that puts the cam not correctly phased properly for the way we want to do this. So whenever I had to turn these cams to get them in the correct position, I didn't want to go turning the cam over with the number one cylinder at top dead center, because that also puts cylinder four at top dead center. And you don't want to go turning the cam over and smash your valves. So I rolled the crankshaft over so that both all four pistons were at like the uh, halfway point of the cylinder. Then I turned the cams to get them where I needed them. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn the crankshaft back over to uh, top dead center. And then I'll line everything up. So when you're putting a side cover on or when you're doing anything down here, here's a little tip. Put some uh, masking tape over this little piece of the gasket that sticks out here. This is the head gasket. And that metal layer that sticks out there is like razor sharp and uh just filleted my hand open 
couple butterfly stitches later and I'm back out here. So just a heads up, that thing is crazy sharp. So I'm gonna get this all buttoned up here, hopefully get the tensioner and stuff back on, get the motor mount on so that I can roll this thing outside and bring the vet back in for tonight. And then I'll finish this up tomorrow. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Getting a fresh start here early in the morning. So I've got the alternator on and the tensioner and the belt and all that, as well as this motor mount set up over here now. So I'm just plugging along. Got the exhaust shield back on. Don't forget about this ground wire here on the back of the head. Underneath of that's a cam position sensor. That's uh, about as far as I've gotten so far. So I'm gonna keep plugging away here one step at a time. We're getting there, almost ready to put the valve cover on, put this air cleaner in, fill it up full of oil and start this thing up. So the last few things I did, um, just kind of got the rest of this stuff bolted on here. The intake manifold, fuel rail, throttle body, and a high tension fuel pump or high pressure fuel pump. And I got these cam phasers torqued. So all you got to do is just put a wrench on the cam here and then <laughs> torque it so that way it doesn't spin over. And then I just torqued the, uh, the crank pulley. And I think, so that was 75 foot pounds plus like a hundred and some degrees, but I just did 75 foot pounds and 90 degrees. I think it'll be enough. And to keep it from turning, uh, what I did was I just took a short piece of tubing. I stuck it in here like that. And then up underneath of that little weight or, you know, this little uh, spoke here. I just put that like that and then I torqued it down that kept it from turning and it worked pretty well. So now I can put that shield back on, get the wheel on and hopefully get the rest of this finished up and uh, then we'll get this thing started up. It's almost done, almost ready to start up. We got just a few more things now left to do. Got to put the shield on, that plastic cover that goes on there, the tube, put your oil cap back on. And I think we're ready to crank this thing up. Put the battery back in. I got to put the fuel pump relay uh, back in. And uh, hopefully it starts up. Well, I just started it up. Got a little smoke from the residual oil probably on the exhaust there. But it's uh, idling very nice. I should have videoed it actually starting for the first time so you could kind of hear what that sounds like, but for whatever reason I wasn't thinking. Um, but it probably took 10 seconds to start because the whole fuel system had to pressurize and it had to kind of find its groove. But... Uh, Yeah, now we just gotta wait for all this smoke to burn off of here. Okay. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna top off the the radiator and uh, take it for a drive, clear out this uh, all the oil that's laying everywhere. <laughs> 